The last thing that we're going to do as part of this section is take a look at how to find the equation of a line that's parallel to another line and then the equation of a line that's perpendicular to a line. So let's start with parallel. So two lines are said to be parallel if they have the same slope. If we're thinking about this as a graph, that means that we have two lines that will not intersect. Now, two lines are said to be perpendicular if they have opposite reciprocal slopes. So if one's positive, the other one's negative, and then we take the reciprocal of the number for, to find that slope. So to find the equation of a line that's parallel to another line, the very first thing you want to do is find the slope of the given line. The easiest way to find the slope of the given line is to solve the given line for y, and the reason for that is, remember, slope intercept form y equals mx plus b tells us that m, the coefficient of x, is your slope. So if you solve your line for y, then the slope will be the coefficient of x. The first thing to do again is to find the slope of the given line. The easiest way to do that is to solve the given line for y, and then the slope is going to be the coefficient of x. The next thing you're going to do after you find the slope of the given line is you're going to use your given point and that slope and find the equation of that line that's parallel by substituting into point slope form and solving for y if possible. So again, in order to find the equation of a line that's parallel to another line, first find the slope of the given line and then use the point given and that slope you just found to find the equation of the line. All right, well, if you have perpendicular lines, again, perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So when you graph this, that means that they intersect at a 90 degree angle. So what do we do in order to find the slope of a line that's perpendicular to another line? Well, again, the very first step is going to be to find the slope of the given line. And you do that really the same way we do up here. You solve the given line for y. The coefficient of x is going to be your slope. Then you need to find the perpendicular slope. So the perpendicular slope is going to be the opposite reciprocal of the slope you just found in the first step. So you find the slope of the given line. And step two is now going to be to find the opposite reciprocal slope slope of that slope you just found. Finally, you're going to use that slope and the given point to obtain the line that's perpendicular. All right, let's look at some examples of this. So we need to find equations of lines. And the first one tells us that we want to find the equation of a line through the point negative 3, negative 5, and parallel to 5x minus 2y equals 13. So let's see if I can display those directions. So the very first thing that we need to do, it says, find the slope of the given line. And the way that we do that is we solve the given line for y. Well, here is our given line. This is our given line. So we need to solve it for y. So let's go ahead and do that. Negative 2y is equal to negative 5x plus 3, moving 5x to the other side. Dividing everything by negative 2 to solve for y, I get that y is equal to positive 5 halves, x, because negative over negative is going to give me that positive, minus 3 over 2. Here is the given line solved for y. So what is the slope of this given line? Well, the slope is always going to be the coefficient or the number in front of x. So the slope of my given line is equal to 5 halves in this case. So again, the slope of my given line is always going to be the coefficient of x if you're in slope intercept form or solved for y. And in this case, it happens to be 5 halves. The next step said, all right, we'll get, use the given point, negative 3, negative 5 is my given point, and the slope to find the equation of the line, and we put them into point slope form to do that. So here's my slope, and again, here's my point, and I use, again, point slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So let's plug things in and work this out. So y minus, instead of y1, I can write negative 5 is going to equal my slope, which is 5 halves times x minus, instead of x1, I write negative 3. If I clean this up, I get y plus 5 is equal to 5 halves times x plus 3. Let's distribute the 5 halves. Doing so, I get 5 over 2 times x is 5 halves x, and 5 over 2 times 3. Well, multiply 5 times 3, you get 15 over 2 times 1, or 2. Let's say I don't like fractions. I want to clear the fractions. My denominator is 2. So I need to multiply everything by 2 to clear the fraction. Doing so gives me 2y plus 10. And over here on the right, equals 5x plus 15. Again, I need to solve for x, so move the 10 over. So 2y is equal to 
5x plus 5. And then we need to divide everything by 2 to finish solving for y. And we get that y is equal to 5 over 2x plus 5 over 2. So the equation of the line that is parallel to 5x minus 2y equals 13 and goes through the point negative 3, negative 5 is y equals 5 over 2x plus 5 over 2. Let's look at the next example. Example 13. Example 13 asks us to find the equation of the line through the point negative 3, negative 5 and perpendicular to 5x minus 2y equals 13. So basically it's the same problem we just did above except for instead of parallel I'm looking for perpendicular lines. Well remember perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes so we're going to have to do an additional step here when we're finding the equation of the line. Well the first step is the same as the step for parallel lines. Find the slope of the given line. Well here's my given line so in order to find the slope I need to solve for y. Now, solving for y I get negative 2y is equal to negative 5x plus 13. Divide everything by negative 2 and y is equal to positive 5 over 2x minus 13 over 2. So the slope of this line is going to be again the coefficient of x which happens to be 5 halves. Then if we look back at the steps, step 2 says find the perpendicular slope. Right, so we've already found the slope of the given line. Step 2 for perpendicular says, all right, we'll now find the perpendicular slope. And remember I said that's the opposite reciprocal slope. So, opposite reciprocal. Well, the perpendicular slope is going to be the opposite. Well, if this is positive, then the opposite would be negative. And then the reciprocal just means to flip your numbers. So 5 over 2 becomes 2 over 5. So the perpendicular slope in our case is going to be negative 2 fifths. Now I need to use the slope and the given point to find the equation of the line. So plugging in, y minus y1, which is negative 5, is going to equal m, which is now negative 2 fifths, times x minus x1, which is that negative 3. Cleaning up, I get y plus 5 is equal to negative 2 fifths times x plus 3. Let's go ahead and distribute my negative 2 fifths. I get negative 2 fifths x and negative 2 fifths times 3, I put this over 1, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, 5 times 1 is 5. Well, again, let's say I don't like fractions, I need to clear my fraction. So let's multiply everything by the denominator, the denominator is 5. So on the left, I get 5y plus 25 is equal to negative 2x minus 6. Now we need to solve for y, so I subtract 25 from both sides, and I get that 5y is equal to negative 2x minus 31. Divide everything by 5, last and final step, and I get that y is equal to negative 2 fifths x minus 31 fifths. So the equation of the line that is perpendicular to 5x minus 2y equals 13 and goes through the point negative 3, negative 5 is y equals negative 2 fifths x minus 31 over 5. All right, let's look at the last two examples, examples 14 and examples 15. <laughs> Example 14 asks us to find the equation of the line parallel to x equal 5 and through negative 3, negative 5. First step is to find the slope of the given line. Well, what kind of line do I have here? Well, this is an x equals, and if we go all the way back up, we know that if you have something that's x equal, x equal a number, that means it's a vertical line. And we also know that vertical lines have undefined slopes. Right? Those are all things that we're committing to memory. So again, x equal 5 is a vertical line, and we know that its slope is undefined. If we need to find a line parallel to x equal 5, that means that the slope of this line, of the line I'm looking for, also has to have an m that's undefined. So if the given line is vertical, that means that the parallel line has to be vertical as well. So again, if the given line is vertical, 
with an undefined slope, right, undefined slope for vertical lines, then that means that the parallel line has to be a vertical line as well because its slope is also undefined. Well, remember the trick to finding the equation of these lines. Because it's vertical, it's going to be x equal a number. Well, what number goes in this place? Well, again, that is the x value of your point. Well, the x value of our point is a negative 3, so the equation of the line that is parallel to x equal 5 and goes through the point negative 3, negative 5 is x equal negative 3. Let's look at example 15. Well, example 15, almost the same thing. It says that we're going through the point negative 3, negative 5, but that we are perpendicular to x equal 5. So, again, we're perpendicular to x equal 5, whereas in example 14, we were parallel. Remember, the steps were that we needed to first find the slope of the given line. So slope of this, because it's vertical, is undefined. Then we needed to find the opposite reciprocal slope. Now there really isn't an opposite reciprocal slope for an undefined slope, but the other thing that we know is that parallel lines, they intersect at a 90 degree angle. So if you think of a vertical line, so here is x equal 5 on a graph. So if I want to intersect this at a 90 degree angle, the only way that I could do that is if I'm a horizontal line. So again, the horizontal line is the only line that intersects a vertical line at a 90 degree angle. Well, what does that mean? That means that if you are perpendicular to a vertical line, then you must be a horizontal line. Again, if you're perpendicular to a vertical line, then you must be a horizontal line. Well, what kind of slope does a horizontal line have? Well, remember, a horizontal line has a slope equal to zero. Well, what kind of lines had zero slopes? horizontal lines. So if you see an undefined slope, you know that the line that's perpendicular to that has to be horizontal, which has a zero slope. But how do I write the equation of a line that's horizontal? Remember our shortcut? Those were always y equals a number. Well, what number was that going to be? Again, it was going to be the y value of the point we were given. Well, the y value of the point I'm given is negative 5. Thus, the equation of my line is going to be y equals negative 5. So the equation of the line that's perpendicular to x equal 5 and goes through the point negative 3, negative 5 is going to be y equal negative 5. Just a couple of other little notes you may want to write down because we didn't do any examples like this. If you're parallel to a horizontal line, and this might be obvious, well guess what? You're a horizontal line right because they need to have the same slope if you're perpendicular to a horizontal line well again the only way that you're going to be perpendicular to something horizontal is if you're vertical so that means you are a vertical line so again if you're parallel to horizontal you're horizontal if you're perpendicular to horizontal you're vertical right just like if you're parallel to vertical you're vertical and if you're perpendicular to vertical you're horizontal and those things are just things you really need to have committed to memory that's it for this section on linear functions